What is scapulohumeral rhythm? Um, you just, they'll move at like the same rate. So like if your arm, you're like abducting your arm, your scapula would move at a certain degree as your humerus moved. Perfect. What is, degree. what? I don't know. Oh, what is the ratio of scapulohumeral rhythm? Oh, yeah. Doesn't it just depend on the muscles that are like no? Is that one twenty sixty? Yeah. So we can two to one. Yep. Two to one is our general ratio. So during 180 degrees of abduction or flexion, we're gonna see 120 at the shoulder for 60 degrees shoulder girdle. So the shoulders are always the one, and the humerus is the bigger number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So shoulder joint, shoulder girdle. Which one's the shoulder girdle? Shoulder girdle is the one. So for every two degrees of shoulder abduction, you're going to see one degree of upward rotation. Oh. We're really just talking about those movements, not like um, protraction and retraction or anything. Right. Just like upward rotation with the flexion or abduction. Um, okay. <clears throat> so let's divide that into an early phase and a late phase. So what is that? Somebody's asking for scapular or humeral rhythm. Just remember to. Yes. Okay. Two. It's early phase. Mm -hmm. What are, what are we asking? What is the early and the late phase? Uh, oh, the early phase, the cloud is the one that's um, moving, right? Yeah. With the late one, it's mostly the scapula. Yeah, a little bit. The, well, the early phase in general is just the first 90 degrees of movement, right? Mm -hmm. So up to here, and the late phase is the second 90 degrees. Um, so if we divide this, we're going to see 60 and 30. So the first 90 degrees, you're going to see 60 degrees shoulder with 30 degrees shoulder girdle. Um, and so we can take this 30 and divide it up. It's just fun. Um, looking at the sternoclavicular and the acromioclavicular joints. So in the early phase, we have 25 degrees movement at the sternoclavicular with 5 at the acromio, and then it switches in the late phase. So really you just need to know which one's bigger during which phase. So in the early phase, sternoclavicular, late phase, acromioclavicular.